Thanks, Clarion. So we're going to um, we're going to abbreviate our, our planned last session a little bit. Um, I think the good news for, for me and for all of you is that no one has asked me or expected me to try to summarize <laughs> um, what we've heard over the last two days. Um, I took over 19 pages of notes, so to even attempt to do that would just be ugly, I could assure you, and we'd probably be here till Saturday afternoon. Um, I will say that when we first saw um, and put together the agenda and the impressive list of speakers, um, our expectations were high, and I think you'll all agree that we were not disappointed. It was a really um, exciting and robust two days of, of information that has been given to us. Um, we heard a lot about how organizations, companies are using their core products and services to try to achieve shared value. Um, to Joy's point, the, we heard about the, the importance of human capital and healthy human capital, and also throughout the two days saw a lot of evidence on um, how investment in employee health and community well-being uh, really brings back social and business value. And then finally, <clears throat> with this, and we, and we also heard about the challenges in all of this, but uh, finally with this panel, last panel, we also heard about how important it is to measure progress and performance um, and the accountability that that brings along with it. Um, so before we, we actually close, we did want to give <clears throat> the forum members and, and the audience the opportunity, if there was any critical message, um, takeaway message that you heard or any next step that you feel you want to embark upon having heard the two days of discussion, we did just want to open it up. Um, to the to the group to see if anyone had anything that they wanted to highlight or share before I do some very quick um, concluding remarks. Sure. Um, thank you. Um, I'm Shanaz Raji with the Vitality Institute, and um, I just wanted to you know there have been a lot of talk on on health metrics um, and. I'm sure one of the big questions would be what they would be. Mm -hmm. um, and we are actually um, sort of working on that. And so if anybody's interested in talking more concretely on how to make that move forward and how to engage people, um, please come see me. I would love to talk. Thank you. And that, that's a great point. And, and one of the things that I, that I wanted to mention and forgot was I think in the area of, of reporting and measurement and the inclusion of health metrics, that's an area where I see opportunity for a lot more progress. Um, so there's a lot that still needs to be done in that area, and Vitality's work is certainly leading in that direction. So thank you for that. Anyone else? Thank yeah. you for all your work. Oh, thank, thank you. And thank you to the audience for, for your attention. I know sometimes two days is a long time to sit through. Um, I think our, our panelists and speakers made it a lot easier, um, but we appreciate your perseverance. Okay. So with that, um, I just wanted to again offer sincere thanks um, to all of the workshop participants for their contributions throughout the two days. Um, and also to our webcast participants. I know it's equally difficult sometimes to participate um, remotely. So, so thank you for, for your, um, your patience and, and participation. Um, as a reminder, the videos and presentations will be posted on the IOM website within the next few weeks and a published workshop summary uh, will be released in the months following the workshop, so you can look forward to that. Um, also want to just remind everyone that the next public workshop of the uh, Forum on Public-Private Partnerships will be held on June 23rd and 24th, 2016, uh, in New York. Um, and it will focus on leveraging partnerships and the private sector to meet global health targets. Uh, so it will tie very directly into the expectations around the SDGs and how to actually accomplish those. Um, to receive updates about the forum and its activities, individuals should sign up, sign up to the, uh, for the forum's listserv through the website. I don't know if we have the website available. I'm looking at Rachel. Uh, it's in the workshop materials and we'll Perfect. also have it on the screen when we conclude. Okay. And um, finally, since everyone's probably starving, uh, <laughs> we, we made you wait till 1.30 and I know that's, that's challenging, but lunch um, will be provided. Um, and the conference room will remain open until 3 p.m. for additional networking opportunities. Um, so with that, I'd like to thank everyone again and wish you all a very safe journey home or to your next destination. Thanks again. Thank you.